Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today's episode of Fashion Expert Reviews, BTS Airport Outfit, is all about gin. I need to come clean about something here. <laughs> Which, don't judge me for, don't click off the video for, because I ate my words. Before researching into Jin's looks, I thought they were going to be very boring, because his style was described to me as boy next door, boyfriend material, and I was just like, well, that doesn't really sound that fun. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't sound that fun. But researching into his looks, I had to eat my words. I love his looks. They're clean, they're chic, they're casual, like, they're easy to wear. The silhouettes are great. Like, Jin made me eat my fucking words and I need to give myself a little bitch lap for my past reservations. So, just wanted to be honest. You're probably gonna see me giving out some 10 wing points in this video. You're gonna see me eat my hat. <laughs> I upload videos here to my channel four times a week, so if you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to be notified of my next fashion expert reviews, which will be all about RM, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell. Go on, I'll wait for you. And as usual, if you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a massive thumbs up. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's get stuck into Jin's looks. If you are new to Fashion Expert Reviews, let me explain quickly how this works. I've got all of Jin's looks here on my iPad. I'm gonna scroll through, talk references, designers, and then I'm gonna rate each look out of 10 wings. Airport outfits, wings, I've also linked some of the items and similar styles in the description box down below, so if you want to go check those out, they're there for you, no pressure. Jin look number one, we're off with a bang. A bang. This pink coat is... Oh, it's everything. I fucking love the colour pink. This shade of pink is so good. It looks so good on his skin. Give me this pink coat, okay? I love that this coat is slightly oversized. We can see it's got a set in shoulder. That means that it's just the traditional straight seam that goes across, but we can see it comes past his natural shoulder. So it's slightly dropped, slightly oversized. Got a very traditional collar and lapel, single breasted, three buttons. It looks like a wool felt or like a wool melting. It's just great. And then he's got this printed graphic t-shirt underneath. Another pop of color with the all black. It really works perfectly well, like... I can't tell if they're black jeans or black trousers from the pictures, but I'm gonna guess that they're black jeans. They look genie in the silhouette because they're quite, like, ruched and creased around the knees. Trousers don't really do that. And then on his feet, I think he might have the Puma X Fenty, like, creeper style on. It looks very similar to that. It's just great. I love the fact that he's got this all black silhouette underneath with a little pop of colour and then he's got that big statement pink coat which is like BAM in your face. Do you know like it's just so good and we have to talk about the Cookie Monster baseball cap. That's just cute and then he's carrying this very structured Givenchy bag. What I've noticed about Jin style is that he loves a bag. He has so many good bags. I'm so here for it. Like. Oh, this Givenchy bag is it beautiful and like the shiny black against the pink. Jin look number one gets 10 wings from me. I love the silhouette. I love the statement pink coat, the Givenchy bag. He's very smartly put an all black look underneath with just that little pop of colour. All of the colours work well with that pink coat. 10, 10, 10. Jin has made me eat my words. <laughs> Jin look number two. This is what I mean by clean, casual, chic. Like, the oversized printed shirt, and you can see that it's oversized because the cuff is literally coming down to his knuckles. I think he's wearing the cuff open as well, so that gives it a bit more movement, a bit more volume. And you can see as well that it's a very relaxed fit by the way that it's tucked into his trousers. There's a lot of volume. And then he's got the black tailored trousers. I'm gonna guess that these are either a tapered or a slim fit. They look like they taper down to his ankle where he's got the black shoe of that white sole. Again, a great choice. I don't know if they're the Raph Simmons style. I don't remember who he collaborated with, but it was Raph Simmons. Was it maybe Adidas? I think it might be those. He's got the Tom Brown bag. 
Like we've discussed here before in Jimin's video, Tom Brown is expensive. And you can see that it's got the Tom Brown stripe, the red, the white, the blue. Great style, great tote. Another great bag from Jin. And then we can see as well, he's got the baseball cap from AMI Paris. It's just such a clean color palette and such a clean silhouette. Like it's, I would love this outfit. Like give me this outfit, Jin. This look deserves 10 wins for me. It's clean, it's great. The silhouette, the accessories, the bag, like everything works together. The color palette. 10 wings, I don't need to say anymore. Gin look number three. This bitch is decked out in a lot of Tom Brown. He slashed the big bucks. I cannot confirm if the coat is Tom Brown, but looking at the lining and the pattern, the detail of the lining, the same colors, it's got that button detail. I'm gonna guess that it's Tom Brown. Oh, that coat is definitely Tom Brown. I've just zoomed in and you can see the little Tom Brown tab. Gin, girl. You bougie bitch. <laughs> He's then got the same Tom Brown tote bag as the look before, Tom Brown trainers, decked out in Tom Brown. But it's great, I love this military coat. I love the fact that it's a long style as well, like usually military coats traditionally are quite cropped. Whereas this style, we can see that there's a seam that goes around the waist where this would normally be cropped. And then we've got the longer piece coming down with that really big patch pocket with the pleat in the middle. That's very like traditional military. So good. And you can see it on the top pockets as well. The buttons on it are great. The detail, the detail. This jacket is gonna cast you a lot. <laughs> and the reason I say that is based off the amount of buttons. And let me explain why. Every time you add a type of fastener, whether it's a zip, a hook and eye, a popper, a button to an item, it makes the cost price more expensive. So in buying, you know, if I'm making a shirt and I put 10 buttons down the front, that's gonna make it more expensive. Whereas if I reduce the amount of buttons on that shirt to say six or seven, I reduce my cost price, making my profit margin higher. So I'm saying that this is an expensive item because there are so many buttons on it. There are four buttons on each cuff, four buttons down the middle. There's about four buttons on those two front pockets, two on the top, so many buttons on the belt. Do you see where I'm going with this? I hope you do. Because <laughs> I could be rambling shit right now, which I feel like I am. I love this look. Again, a very simple, clean silhouette underneath. He's got the white t-shirt that looks incredibly fresh. And then he's got the black jeans with that little rip at the knee. It's just great. It's simple. Again, a statement coat with a very simple outfit underneath. It's classic. You can't go wrong. I'm going to go ahead and give this look nine wings. It's a great look. I love the statement coat. To me, it's not as much of a statement as look number one, which got 10 wings. So out of fairness, this gets nine. Jin look number four is very casual. It looks like he is the same base outfit underneath as the previous look, that white t-shirt with the ripped jeans. This time he's got a pair of Givenchy sliders on. Don't really rate them if I'm honest. Sorry. But the shirt, the shirt is what drew me into this outfit. It is so oversized. There's so much volume to it. And he's got the different stripes. So it's like giving us pattern clash. And I love the fact that this side of the shirt is a different stripe to this side of the shirt. So even when it's done up, you're gonna get that effect. Zooming in, I think the cuff of the shirt is really cool as well. It looks like it's been folded back. It covers his hand, very oversized, but it just gives that extra bit of detail. And we can see here he's holding a Gucci bag. Jin loves a good bag. That is a great classic bag. I can't tell what the bag is behind it. Two bags through the airport. That is bougie. He just looks great. It's very simple, that base piece, very simple. But you can see his t-shirt is just tucked into the front. He's got the open shirt. He styled this very well, even though it's incredibly simple. But I feel like that is Jin style. It's very simple, but the silhouettes and like how clean the outfits are is what is doing the talking, as well as the statement bag. <laughs> I absolutely love this short here as well, where he's got the Balenciaga cap on, he's got the sunglasses. I'm gonna guess this is like after he's landed. Privacy, like I've said, privacy, sunglasses, baseball cap, incognito mode, 
Microsoft logging out mode. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna give this look eight wings. I love everything about this look apart from the slides. I don't understand the slides. You could have gone for like a nice trainer or something like that. It's just, again, it's personal taste. Fashion is subjective overall. Gin look number five, we have this amazing brown shirling, massive statement coat. I love the fact that he's worn it over his shoulders as well. More men need to wear their coats like this. Like you see women doing it all the time. It looks great. Here's my coat, here's my outfit. You look rich, affluent, opulent. Men, you don't really see them doing it. Why? Jin is rocking this. I've just realized this is the third outfit in a row where he's wearing a white top with black jeans. So sorry about that. <laughs> I pulled this look out because I love the coat. Like the coat is absolutely insane. You've got the detailing of like the darker paneling, the shirling, the big pockets. When do you ever really see a shirling jacket that is literally like to the floor? It is a statement. Again, it shows you the power of a statement coat. Outerwear is always something that I'll spend a bit more money on because it lasts you such a long time and a statement coat, as we've seen from Jin, over a basic silhouette outfit underneath, white t-shirt and jeans, it goes a long way. Do I think that this coat goes incredibly well with his look underneath? No, not really. I personally don't like brown and black mixed. Again, personal taste. If you took the coat off of that outfit though, it would just be a bit like... Again, we can see he's got that Tom Brown tote bag. Jin is all about a bag. I feel like if we're gonna take anything away from Jin's style, it's a statement bag and a statement coat. I'm gonna give this look 7.5 wings. I feel like I'm being a bit savage, but I also feel like I'm not at the same time. I love the coat, a statement coat. I've never really seen a coat like this before either. It's incredibly unique. How cozy and warm is this coat? But I feel like the outfit underneath just needs a bit more elevation. I think this would have been really sick if you wore like, a beigey nude roll neck underneath with like a darker like caramel trouser and you like really played on like the different tones of like browns, that would have been beautiful. But I guess that's not his style. His style is very simple and clean. I feel like that like beigey tonal look would have been more like V or Jimin, do you know? You know. Our final Jin look, I think this is the epitome of Jin style. It's very clean, it's very elegant. The silhouette is great. It fits him incredibly well. I think what is great about Jin is even if the outfit is so, 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 so simple, it fits him so well. Like, this is great. This is giving me spring vibes. We've got this oversized, very casual shirt in this like sagey green color. And it's tucked into these like beige, lightweight chinos, you can see they're a very lightweight fabric, and then he's got the white Stan Smiths. Very clean outfit, great for spring. And then of course, it's Jin, we've got the statement Gucci bag, it just works so well. And then it looks like he's done the French tuck, if you're familiar with Queer Eye, you know what I'm talking about, he's just tucked it into the front. That trick is great, it makes your legs look longer, it makes you look taller, it shows off the silhouette of the trouser. Great, great look. This is the first look I actually pulled out that I loved of Jin's, and I think it's a great one to wrap up on. I'm gonna give this look nine wings. It's simple, it's clean, it fits him perfectly, the statement Gucci bag. The look is all about the Gucci bag. It's just great. I think it's the epitome of Jin's style, and that's why it gets nine wings. I just think this is a great spring look. We're coming into spring. If you're stuck for a spring look, look no further. Jin has made me eat my hat. Like I said at the start of the video, I was like, boy next door, boyfriend material. Mm. But I love his style. It's super simple, but it's so elegant. It's chic, it's casual, it's, oh, it just fits him so well. And I think that's what's great. Even if you're not the most into fashion person, as long as your clothes fit you well, it just, it just changes the game, basically. I think what we can learn from Jin in this video as well is that a statement bag 
goes a long way. We all have a designer bag that we all want. Do you know what I mean? I want the Dior mini saddle bag. It will be mine at some point this year. Jin has many designer bags that he has his eye on <laughs> and he has them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think of Jin's style and what outfit from this video is your favourite. Up next in this series we've got RM, so if you want to be notified go ahead and subscribe, turn on that post notification bell. What you should do next is check out my Fashion Expert Reviews BTS Airport Outfits playlist. I'll leave a little card in the screen here for you, but thank you so much for watching and a massive, massive thank you to all of my subscribers. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.